So first of all, the United Nations estimate that, um, that's not surprising, that cannabis is still the, um, the most common used illegal drug in the world. For sure, the most common non-illegal uh, non would be alcohol and tobacco, but from the from the illegal part, at least in most of the world, um, cannabis is still the lead, uh, followed by opioids, amphetamines, cocaine, and then ecstasy. The picture in Switzerland and in Europe, I will describe a bit later, that's slightly different, but um, yeah, we come to this um, some minutes later. And as you see here, um, I already, already said this, um, the drugs are not everywhere the same that are at least most frequently used. So Europe is a typical cocaine, amphetamine and cannabis market, while other uh, regions of the world like the US, US has become uh, 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 or has developed a epidemic opioid use. So first um, they, the, the use of prescription opioids has risen and as a consequence, later they got a new heroin wave. But this is not the case, at least so far, in Europe. And also there are some, some other um, uh, regions like the Far East, where sometimes completely different drugs play a huge role, which are not that a problem, for example, in Switzerland or the rest of Europe, like ketamine. Yeah? So if we look for uh, drug use epidemiology, we always have to look for the region where we, uh, which is targeted. Um, in fact, so substance use matters specifically if a substance use disorder or a dependence has developed. So uh, it is estimated uh, that um, the substance use disorders belong to the top 20 of the leading causes of global